Because it, it amazed me at the time, you know, that you took all the equipment that you took over to Holland yeah. to record the Holland album and then bring it all the way back. I mean, first of all, I know the cost was, was oh, tremendous. Oh, the cost was tremendous. I mean, the equipment in the first place cost $190,000 to build. It was, it's an elaborate system built by a genius, Steve Moffat, and uh, it cost quite a bit to make. So, uh, but the shipping costs were tremendous too to bring back. Yeah. But we brought back our tapes of Holland. We brought them back to America. We dubbed them down here in America and put the album out. It was a pretty big success. Mm. Mm. Did you do the fairy tale in oh, Holland yeah. as well? Oh yeah. Fairy tale was written. I, as a matter of fact, I played the Randy Newman album "Sail Away." I don't know if anyone's heard that, yeah. but it's a great album. I used that for inspiration. I played that album over and over. Stood there with a pencil, writing this fairy tale. But I had to have that album playing for some reason. For inspiration, and it was the wildest thing. I couldn't do it without it. There was I wasn't concentrating on what he was saying. I was just concentrating on the lyrics of the of the fairy tale. There was a mansion on a hill, but deep in a secret king, kingdom, where a young prince lived. You know, like that.